Ladies and gentlemen and fans of the Outlaw Wrestling Confederation, good evening. It is I, Major Chaos, and welcome to OWC Late Night. Ladies and gentlemen, I am truly proud and honored to welcome at this time the current Tournament Rules Champion of the Outlaw Wrestling Confederation. Let's have a nice round of applause for the Midnight Rider. Hey, nice to be here tonight, Major. How you doing? Very good, very good. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Midnight Rider, the current Philadelphia weight class champion. Midnight, how does it feel to hold the most prestigious belt in wrestling today? Oh, this feels great. I mean, what more can I say? I took it from the champ. It took me four and a half minutes to take it. There's no competition here. Ladies and gentlemen, without a doubt, for those of you that had missed it, it was truly the match of the decade, ladies and gentlemen. And due to an unforeseen problem with the FCC and the Philadelphia State Athletic Commission, unfortunately, we will not be able to show a replay of the match. However, we will bring you up to date with what had occurred during that legendary battle. Now, uh, at this time, I'd like to ask you, Midnight Rider, did you think you actually had a chance to beat Mr. E in that match? Oh, I knew I had a chance as soon as I walked in the ring. Uh, the man's overweight. Uh, he does not know how to wrestle. And as far as I'm concerned, the time which I took to beat him just proves that fact as it is. And I can attest to the fact, because I, Major Chaos, had to officiate that bout myself. Unfortunately, my sidekick, Crash, was unable to attend due to a prior obligation. But I will say, without a doubt, you missed history in the making. Now, uh, for all you fans out there in the Outlaw Wrestling Confederation, we know that this man, Midnight Rider, is a stranger to you. So we'd like to bring you uh, up to date and provide you with some information. Uh, Midnight, could you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, sure. I'm uh, married, happily, for now. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. And uh, well, all I'm concentrating on right now is defending this belt. Anybody who wants to come down the pike, and uh, nobody's taking it. Okay, you hear that, all you fans out there. If you think you got what it takes, step up and sign on the dotted line because we have a man here that's willing to take on all comers, not just those guys out there that think they're deserving, but all comers. Now, uh, Midnight, how long have you been in the business? I've been a professional wrestler for five and a half years. Five and a half years, and I have to say that in watching uh, your epic battle uh, on that evening in question, that I noticed some very sophisticated martial arts holds and, and martial arts technique. Are you formally trained uh, in the Orient? Uh, no, but I was trained by Gene LaBelle. Gene LaBelle, and what a guy Gene LaBelle is. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about your style? It seemed a little unconventional. Uh, it's mostly a brawling style with a bit of uh, mostly grappling submission moves. Now, um, did um, in in the type of wrestling that you perform, I noticed that it's a, it, it's definitely a very dangerous dangerous environment that you put yourself in with these tournament rules. Uh, what makes a guy like yourself actually step up into a tournament like that? Well, I've done the basic professional wrestling bull that you see on Monday nights, and I got tired of it. It was no longer a challenge. So this offered me a challenge to step up to beat someone's ass and to hold a belt. Okay, do you have, is there any, anyone out there in wrestling today that, that you uh, look up to or that uh, you have some hero worship for? Is there, is there anyone out there that really does it for you in wrestling today? Um, I'd say my all-time wrestler I looked up to was uh, Dr. Death Steve Williams. Dr. Death Steve Williams. Oh, it brings a tear to my eye just thinking about Dr. Death. And speaking of death, um, what are your plans as far as your uh, next battle? There, there's been a, a, a slight controversy that has ensued from that, from that title match, of which the challenger is claiming that due to a certain uh, technicality, he would like another shot at a rematch there. Technicality, my ass. He wants a rematch, you got a rematch. This time, it's two minutes, and you're done. Okay, and uh, uh, speaking of two minutes, we'll be back in two minutes uh, after word from our sponsor. Uh -huh. 